How do you photograph the job of your dreams, the gig of your life? To be on stage, 52,000 people in a national stadium with the biggest band and best live band in Denmark, The Minds of 99. I'm Fleming Bo Jensen. I'm a Fujifilm X photographer from Denmark and I shoot concerts. This show was announced in November 2019. So originally scheduled for September 2020, but along came a pandemic and the whole show had to be postponed. But in September 2021, the show became an historical event, the reopening of Denmark. It was an event that everyone wanted to be part of. Everyone wanted to come to Parken to celebrate with the band. For me, this is a dream gig. And it means that since November 2019, I've been photographing this gig in my head. I could fortunately be part of the build-up and the rehearsals, which gave me intimate knowledge of all the songs and the stuff that's happening in the show. And it also means I can start to build a shot plan, not only for myself, but also for my two team members, because there were three of us on my team covering the concert. It's a huge stadium. There's no way just me can run around and get to the grandstands and the back and the front and the pit and the stage. I've been photographing the Minds of 99 for quite a few years now, and I now have this trust so I can be really close. And that's what I love to do. I love to shoot wide angle, but I need to be close to do it because I want the subject, I want the stage, and I want the audience. I love showing the fans too these angles. There's no way you could ever see this, but through my lens, I take you really close to the band. And the most important thing to me, it's a stadium concert. I basically want in every picture that you can see the crowd, that you can see you're in the stadium, that you can see the size and the scale of this and how historically huge this is. To photograph the show, I brought my trusty X-T3, which is my workhorse, my very favorite Fujifilm X camera. I've been using this for three years, thousands of gigs, by far the best still camera, in my opinion. It has the 16 to 55 millimeter zoom lens on it, and I use this for all the action shots in Parkin. It's really great for that. It's lightweight, it's super fast autofocus, and it's very responsive, and I just depend on it for everything. And honestly, I could have shot the entire show with the X-T3, but I also love a wide panoramic view. And if ever there was a concert that cried out for big panoramas, it was this one in Parkin. So I brought the GFX 100S because I needed the much better image quality the 102 megapixels, the dynamic range, the clarity that you get in these files. Because used with the 23 millimeter f4 lens, I can be on stage with a really wide view without any super extreme focal length. This makes it incredibly versatile. In post, I can make three or four pictures out of the same file. And I can also just chop the top and bottom off and I can get these big, massive, beautiful panoramas with lots of definition. And the dynamic range means that I don't lose any of the highlights or the shadows. I basically have all of this information that I can play with. So it gives me something that I simply cannot make with the X-T3. That was my plan for bringing the GFX 100S on top of the X-T3, and it worked absolutely perfectly. It's really small, it's lightweight, the autofocus is fast, it's precise. And I just had this on one shoulder, the X-T3 on the other shoulder, and never once during the show did I sort of consider, oh, this is a medium for my camera. I'm just using it like normal at a show and I'm running around everywhere and through the crowd with no problems at all. I tested my setup during rehearsals and it worked absolutely perfectly during the concert. I got a lot of action shots and close-ups with the X-T3 and I got all of these panoramas that I wanted with the GFX 100S. The time has come and we're going on stage. And the roar of the crowd, it just overtook me completely. I literally, in my brain, had to go remember the plan, remember the songs, remember where you're going to be, remember what is happening during the show. Hang on to this fact the whole time because I am almost falling over from just the strong emotions of this crowd who's just in ecstasy. And it, it basically meant once the music started playing, I feel like two hours went by in five minutes. One of my favorite memories from photographing the show 
is a song called Drum am Liebe, meaning dreaming about life. There's a point where the kick drum comes in and with it comes these really powerful strobe lights. And this is my one chance, all of Parken illuminated by this giant flash to make this picture where you can see everything. That's one of the pictures that I am most happy about. Turned out pretty much exactly like I planned it in my head. Where do you go after photographing the gig of your dreams? It doesn't stop here. It may have been the biggest job of my life, but it wasn't the best pictures ever, nor is it ever gonna be. That's the beauty of life. That's the fun part about chasing these is always striving to experiment, to get better and to keep chasing those perfect live pictures.